Welcome to Highway Herald, your roadmap to the latest in auto. Today, we're going to delve into a topic that's often overlooked in the EV conversation, the challenges and risks associated with this new technology, particularly the alarming frequency of fire incidents. China, the global leader in EV production, is our case study, where such incidents are becoming a daily occurrence. So buckle up, as we explore why Chinese EVs are going up in flames at such an alarming rate. A blaze a day keeps the EV away? China embarked on its electric journey quite some time ago, and now stands as the world's largest producer of battery electric vehicles. Given this, it's no surprise that the majority of EV fire incidents occur here. We often come across videos or reports of charred EVs in China, but the true scale of the problem might be even larger than we realize. These aren't isolated incidents. In 2021 alone, officials reported over 3,000 fire incidents, suggesting the issue is far more widespread than initially thought. However, data for subsequent years is conspicuously absent. Could it be that the Chinese government, a staunch promoter of EVs, is trying to downplay the issue? Since 2021, EV production has skyrocketed, with over 8.4 million new EVs rolling off the assembly lines of various Chinese manufacturers just last year. The Toll Station Tragedy With such a high incidence of fires, fatalities are sadly inevitable. The most shocking case was last summer's toll station incident in Hangzhou, where a Volkswagen electric vehicle burst into flames immediately after a collision, leaving no time for the occupants to escape. The result was a tragic loss of four lives. This incident, captured in online videos, heightened concerns about the fire and safety risks associated with EVs. It also shattered the notion that only Chinese EVs, often criticized for their quality control, are susceptible to fires. The vehicle involved was produced by a major Western company, suggesting that the technology itself, rather than build quality, is the root of the problem. Consequently, Volkswagen's EV sales in China plummeted by a quarter. The German automaker currently offers three EV models in China, the ID3, the ID4, and the ID6. Fires in the factory. The issues with EVs begin at the very source, the battery plants. Last November, a fire broke out during a test ride at SK's facility. Despite this, the company announced plans to build another assembly plant in the second half of 2024. No fatalities were reported, but the incident underscored the inherent risks of EVs, even before they leave the factory. Remember the fire at Ford's EV plant in Michigan, where an all-electric F-150 spontaneously combusted on the plant's lot? These aren't isolated incidents anymore. It's high time we discussed worker safety and the likelihood of EVs catching fire right on the assembly line. The Hangzhou Auto City Conundrum EVs can ignite in a variety of scenarios, at charging stations, during collisions, and even on the assembly line. But here's the kicker. They can also catch fire spontaneously without any apparent trigger. A minor flaw in the battery design or a related component can be enough to spark a blaze, as demonstrated by an incident at Hangzhou Auto City. This occurred in one of the exhibition halls at Auto City, where automakers showcased their latest models. Out of the blue, a parked vehicle began to smoke. It wasn't charging or running, it was simply parked. Yet that was enough to start a fire. Thankfully, firefighters were quick to respond. They moved the smoking car outside the hall to a parking lot, away from people and other vehicles. Moments later, the smoke turned into an open flame, and the car was engulfed. Traditional firefighting methods proved ineffective. Before we delve deeper, we'd appreciate it if you could subscribe to Highway Herald. Your support fuels our passion to create more content like this. Now let's explore the next chapter, Hong Kong's Fiery Tales. Hong Kong, more accessible than mainland China, is a hotbed for EV fire incidents. We're privy to detailed reports, shedding light on causes and outcomes. A recent incident involved a 53-year-old woman who narrowly escaped death at a Kowloon Bay charging station. Her BYD EV, a notable Tesla competitor, spontaneously combusted. She had just enough time to retreat to safety before the vehicle was consumed by flames. Investigations later revealed a minor design flaw in the charging socket that caused a short circuit. Another incident involved a Tesla, manufactured in a Chinese plant. The car wasn't charging or involved in a collision. It was simply in transit when the driver noticed a loss of power and saw smoke billowing from the rear. He calmly pulled over and evacuated just in time. Despite a recent service inspection that found no faults, the car caught fire, underscoring the unpredictable nature of EV fires. This clearly indicates that there are no definitive signs of design flaws that could lead to a fire. The Blame Game 
While the information we receive from China is often limited and incomplete, the sheer volume of fire incidents clearly suggests that this isn't an issue confined to specific automakers. Regardless of the brand or manufacturer, EVs are susceptible to fire. The Aito M5, for instance, caught fire in Mongolia, resulting in two fatalities. Several Aura EVs owned by Great Wall Motors have also been reduced to ashes, whether at charging stations or on the road. Then there's BYD, the industry leader, which has experienced a significant number of fire-related incidents. Between 2020 and 2022, 11 cases were officially recorded, but we suspect the actual number is much higher. During the same period, Li Auto reported five fires, Xpeng reported four, while Neo claimed just one fire incident. The common denominator? Independent researchers suggest that the most likely cause of electric car fires in China is the use of low-cost materials during the battery manufacturing process. Another indication that EV fires occur more frequently than authorities let on is the recent surge in insurance costs. Premiums have risen significantly and are now 20% higher compared to their gas-powered counterparts. It's clear that, in addition to higher repair costs and lower reliability ratings, fire concerns are a major factor in this increase. So, why do EVs burn so much? EVs burn, and they burn a lot in China. While there could be numerous theoretical reasons in practice, it's primarily due to the batteries. Modern batteries are typically made of lithium, a soft silvery white alkali metal that's unstable and highly reactive. In other words, it's prone to combustion. Triggers can vary, ranging from damage, punctures, overcharging, exposure to high temperatures, and more. Then there's the issue of quality control in China, which isn't exactly top-notch, leading to a large number of EVs leaving factory lines with serious defects. A common phenomenon with batteries made of lithium and other critical minerals that are necessary for electric vehicle batteries is thermal runaway. Once the batteries are exposed to high temperatures, lithium triggers a reaction that produces even more heat. This self-reinforcing heat cycle causes the temperature to rise rapidly, electrolytes break down, and then flammable gases are released, ultimately resulting in an explosion and more fire. The problem also arises when the battery is damaged and exposed to air. In such cases, lithium, cobalt, and other rare earth elements react in a way that, even if the fire is extinguished and flames are removed, the temperature rises and leads to a new fire. This is why firefighters struggle more with EVs compared to what we could call a normal fire. In almost every case, a burning EV ends up totaled, and the number of fatalities is significantly higher compared to internal combustion-powered cars. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the world of EVs. Don't forget to subscribe to Highway Herald for the latest vehicle updates and upcoming videos. See you next time.